With Neptune raising worries among researchers and space fans, the same famous specialists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have sounded cautions about the possible outcomes of this heavenly conflict. Yet how did Pluto end up on an impact course with its far-off neighbor? And what could this infinite crash mean for us here on the planet? How about we investigate this unfurling occasion? Once thought to be an undeniable planet, Pluto was subsequently renamed as a Bantam planet because of its unique circle. In spite of this transform, it proceeds to enthrall and draw in stargazers. Ongoing forecasts from unmistakable researchers feature a stressing vicinity between Pluto's way and that of Neptune. These specialists alert against a likely crash between the two planets, representing a critical danger to Earth. Pluto's venture around the Sun is set apart by its unmatched attributes within our planetary group. Its circle ranges in broad 248 years, and since its revelation in 1930, Pluto still can't seem to complete a full upheaval. Adding to its interest is the profoundly curved shape of its circle, a departure from the almost roundabout circles of the significant planets. Also, Pluto's circle is slanted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its way more extreme contrasted with different planets. One eminent part of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's way. For roughly 20 years in each circle, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, resisting assumptions in view of their particular situations in the Sun-powered framework. So why hasn't an impact happened between Pluto and Neptune? The clarification lies in the gravitational impacts applied by different planets. The assessment of Pluto's circle initiated soon after its revelation, introducing a perplexing direction for stargazers. In contrast to most of the planets, whose circles adjust somewhat near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's unmistakable highlights incorporate a lofty tendency and a circular shape. The secret developed with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle crosses that of Neptune. The solidness of Pluto's circle in the midst of these complexities fills in as proof of the intricacies inherent in space mechanics. The three-body issue in space involves figuring out the development and gravitational communications among three heavenly bodies like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This issue clarifies the complicated exchange of their ways and gravitational powers. Terms like asynchronous libration, scope libration, and the VZK swaying contribute to unwinding this divine riddle. Astrophysicists affirm that asynchronous libration, liable for keeping planets in their circles, assumes a fundamental part in the setting of Pluto and Neptune. This term means that when Pluto meets Neptune's circle, it is situated at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, vitally forestalling potential crashes. Scope libration guarantees that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is arranged altogether over their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of assurance against crashes. The VZK swaying makes sense of why Pluto's circle around the Sun shows up surprising but remains smooth over time. Regardless of apparent irregularities, Mathematical reproductions in the late part of the 1980s uncovered that, notwithstanding steady properties, Pluto's circle is in fact tumultuous, with minor introductory deviations prompting massive contrasts over millions of years. However, Pluto's remarkable circle maintains stability over extraordinarily lengthy timescales, holding tumult in line. Ongoing computer tests have improved our comprehension of how enormous planets like Neptune, Jupiter and Saturn impact Pluto's way around the Sun-Neptune's extraordinary relationship with Pluto, finishing three circles for each two of Pluto, adds to the security of Pluto's circle. Also, Jupiter's tremendous gravity applies a significant impact, while Saturn's influence, though more modest, also plays a part. Through thorough tests, researchers have shown that the combined impacts of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensure the safe and stable development of Pluto in space for billions of years. These phenomena are fundamental for maintaining the order and consistency of heavenly developments in the universe. Without these components, the solar system would be inclined to greater tumult and eccentricism, possibly prompting crashes or ejections from stable ways and causing gradually expanding influences on other heavenly bodies. Getting it, Pluto's circle is especially essential in the midst of discussions about a potential impact with Neptune later on. This information gives a clearer comprehension of the unique nature of the nearby planet group. Pluto's case highlights how apparently unsteady circles can reach harmony 
through the complicated interaction of gravitational powers and orbital mechanics. Constant observation and investigation of these phenomena are crucial for acquiring a better handle of our position in the universe. Investigating the profundities of space frequently uncovers the eccentric nature of divine bodies. Furthermore, Pluto's circle fills in as a prime illustration of this unconventionality. The concept of orbital mayhem distinctively shows the delicate reliance of a divine body's way on its initial conditions, as exhibited in Pluto's case. Even slight varieties in the midget planet's situation or speed can essentially modify its drawn-out circle. Programmatic experiences have been instrumental in aiding researchers understand how Pluto moves in space. By making little changes in these recreations, stargazers can see how minor changes can have a significant influence on Pluto's direction. In the late 1980s, these reproductions uncovered an intriguing part of Pluto's way. In spite of highlights like asynchronous libration and scope libration contributing to its dependability, Pluto's circle can still display eccentricism. Even a little introductory contrast in Pluto's situation or speed can lead to huge changes in its way over numerous years. In spite of this inherent disarray, Pluto's circle remains stable for an uncommonly lengthy time span, stretching out over billions of years. This suggests that beneath its apparently sporadic appearance, Pluto's excursion around the Sun follows an organized order anticipating grandiose occasions. Particularly with planets like Pluto that have unusual circles, the intrinsic unusualness of these frameworks makes long-term figures unsure. Mathematical reenactments assist us with understanding and expect the future ways of heavenly bodies. However, they also reveal the limits of our prescient capacities. These models heavily rely on exact initial conditions and reproduce complex cooperations. Even a little mistake can lead to essentially various results, making exact forecasts troublesome. The tumultuous nature of heavenly circles, such as Pluto's, helps us to remember the ever-changing universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case features our continuous limited information. The tremendousness of interstellar distances and the shortage of planets in open space act as impediments against incessant impacts. Furthermore, rebel planets are relatively unprecedented compared to the quantity of stars and planets in stable circles, making such experiences much more unrealistic. Understanding the gravitational impacts of giant planets on Pluto's circle provides important insights into the broader dynamics of the nearby planet group. It exhibits how every planet's presence and position can influence the stability and direction of different bodies in the system. In spite of these complicated powers, significant astrophysicists are expressing worries about a likely impact between Pluto and Neptune. This raises inquiries about why such an impact, which appears to be far-fetched given these complex elements, is presently a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable astrophysicist, offers an extraordinary perspective on the secrets of our solar system, especially in regards to Pluto. Tyson, popular for renaming Pluto as a bantam planet rather than an undeniable planet, shares wise considerations on how our understanding of heavenly mechanics is continuously developing. Tyson sees Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade but rather as a fundamental acclamation to our expanding information about the various objects circumnavigating the Sun. His way to deal with divine mechanics includes consistent learning and transformation. He sees the intricacies of circles like Pluto's as an indication of the amount more there is to find in space. Tyson trusts that the charm of these questions is what makes stargazing so dazzling. Moreover, Tyson knows how space-related occasions and disclosures influence public interest in space science. He thinks events like Pluto's renaming and its surprising circle are chances to capture the public's creative mind and interest in the universe. By talking about the dynamic and, at times, strange perspectives of space mechanics, Tyson aims to cultivate a deeper comprehension and appreciation of the universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson opens a window for the overall population to wonder at the marvels and secrets of the universe. Working close by other researchers, Tyson actively alerts the public about the possible risk of Pluto's capricious way. After broad investigation of Pluto, he has raised worries that the three-body issue could represent a genuine danger, proposing that an impact with Neptune is extremely past due. Furthermore, Tyson underscores how such a crash could disturb the equilibrium of the universe and lead to horrendous outcomes reaching out to Earth. 
an impact among Pluto and Neptune would be a strange and horrendous occasion in our nearby planet group. This impact would release a monstrous amount of energy, potentially falling to pieces Pluto due to its more modest size and frosty organization. Trash from the impact could disperse across the planetary group, presenting potential dangers for different planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an effect could possibly change its climate and circle, contingent upon the particular subtleties of the crash. Michio Kaku, a notable hypothetical physicist recognized for his work in string hypothesis and science promotion, offers an interesting viewpoint on this situation. His perspectives on the eventual fate of space investigation and the association between heavenly mechanics and hypothetical physical science give profound bits of knowledge into phenomena like Pluto's circle. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its circle as a brief look into the eventual fate of space investigation. Understanding the complex gravitational collaborations and orbital elements of heavenly bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can offer critical bits of knowledge for future space missions. This information can help with navigating the planetary group more successfully, anticipating potential dangers, and arranging missions to the external spans of our planetary group and past. Kaku underlines that the examples gained from concentrating on Pluto's circle can be applied to investigate other heavenly bodies, providing a framework for drawing nearer to and understanding far-off universes. In examining the physical science of planets, Kaku frequently highlights the profound association between heavenly mechanics and hypothetical physical science. He trusts that the developments and cooperations of planets, like the gravitational dance among Pluto and Neptune, are not disconnected occasions but are connected to essential standards of physical science. Kaku's work in hypothetical material science, particularly in string hypothesis, aims to fathom these standards at the most essential level. He proposes that contemplating the intricacies of divine mechanics, like the circle of Pluto, can yield experiences into the basic laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also tended to the likely impact, relating it to his speculations about the universe. Assuming that Pluto and Neptune were to impact, it would be a critical occasion in astronomy, offering a remarkable observational open door that could possibly add to our comprehension of string hypothesis. String hypothesis, a hypothetical framework replacing point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, tries to portray the essential powers and matter in the universe. The crash of such extent in the nearby planet group could create outrageous states of energy and gravity, offering experiences into the conduct of fundamental particles and powers under outrageous circumstances, a key center in string hypothesis. Moreover, the gravitational waves delivered by the impact could provide significant information for testing expectations of string hypothesis connected with gravity and spacetime. While the immediate effect on Earth would be irrelevant because of our separation from the external nearby planet group, the logical ramifications of such an occasion could be significant, possibly adding to our comprehension of the central nature of the universe as depicted by string hypothesis and different areas of hypothetical material science. Pluto's circle fills in as a striking illustration of heavenly mechanics, displaying both dependability and tumult within our nearby planet group. The exceptional qualities of its circle, affected by the gravitational powers of adjoining planets, especially Neptune, feature the complicated and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds quite a number of secrets, and the three-body issue is only one of them. There are other potential debacles that researchers expect. While the possibilities of planets crashing in space are very low, it's not completely inconceivable. The way planet circles are affected by different factors, including gravitational cooperations, is made sense of by the three-body issue. In some space frameworks, like TRAPPIST-1 with seven Earth-sized planets, gravitational powers create a cadence design brought by orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can make planet ways less steady, potentially prompting crashes. In spite of the jam-packed nature of frameworks like TRAPPIST-1, impacts are not at present happening. Researchers intently monitor these frameworks to comprehend how planets impact each other's ways, especially when they are close. This information assists us with appreciating the development of planets in space. Rebel planets, drifting through space without circling a star, introduce an extra erratic element. These planets, previously part of a star framework, are ousted due to gravitational aggravations or other divine occasions. For example, 
the nearby passage of another star or dynamic shakiness in different frameworks. Over the long haul, these meandering planets can navigate tremendous distances, possibly arriving at districts far from their starting point. During their lone venture, there is a possibility of them meeting with other star frameworks. If one of these maverick planets enters another nearby planet group, there is a slight chance of a crash with a planet in that framework. However, given the colossal and predominantly void nature of space, the probability of a maverick planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low.